This is a series of advanced animation and so far we managed to use JavaScript to move this beach ball from the left to the right by using the step function and calling it over and over again with a given frame rate. But this way of using set timeout to call a function again and again isn't really that efficient. We would rather use request animation frame. If you take a look at the documentation for request animation frame, see here, and it says the window request animation frame, it's on window and that is kind of like alert. So this means it's a function we can use wherever we are. It tells the browser that you wish to perform an animation. Okay, okay. And here it says something important. Your callback routine must itself call request animation frame. Okay, we'll get back to that. And here it says we call request animation frame with a callback. And the callback is the function to call when it's time to update your animation. So that means our step is our callback. And then when we see up here, it says your callback routine must itself call request animation frame if you want to animate another frame. So that basically means that rather than using set timeout, we just use request animation frame with the step and no frame rate. And this should give us the perfect animation that animates at approximately 60 frames per second. We can't actually control the frame rate. It's controlled internally by the browser. And if you have a mobile device or low on battery, or if, if the browser is busy doing something else, the frame rate will drop. And that turns out to be a bit of a problem for our calculation here. So let's see if we can fix that. First, let's check how much off the frame rate is. So let us figure out what is the time right now. And don't look at the clock, but look at the performance. Dot now that gives us a very precise number of milliseconds. And say we console log now. How does that look? Okay, it is constantly rising. We want the difference between the this now and the last now. So let's say the difference. And usually we could say difference, but it's often called delta. Delta is the difference between now and the last now. And then of course, afterwards, we want to remember that the last now is the same as this now. And then we console log the delta. And we just have to remember the last here. So this gives us approximately 16 milliseconds. It's very off. It's sometimes 18, 15. It's, it's back, goes back and forth. So we want to adjust for this. Before we had our frame rate that was 60. And if we calculate that is because 1000 milliseconds divided by 60 frames, that is 16.666 seconds or 16.666 milliseconds per frame. So if we say 1000 divided by 16.6667, that is our frame rate. So if we here say divided by not by fr the frame rate, but by 1000 divided by the delta, that should give us the perfect speed. And let's take a look here. If I reload and reload, it does not work. I think there's something wrong, maybe. Ah, I need to initialize the last to be zero. So if last is undefined, then delta becomes undefined. But so if last is not defined, I can say it like this. 
So if last exists, then it uses last, or it uses zero if last does not exist. So this gives us now the frame rate adjusts even though it goes up and down and up and down and up and down, it should move with the same speed. It might look a bit janky here in the video. If I remove the console lock, I think it should be fixed. So now the speed is always the same. Our delta value takes care of that. So the main difference between JavaScript animations and CSS and other animation is that we define the speed in JavaScript animation and not the duration, because we don't know when it will end. We just add a constant movement depending on a constant speed. This is very nice, because now we can have objects moving in different directions and at different distances, but all with the same speed. If, however, we didn't want to use linear animation, but an easing of some sorts, then we would need a duration, because the easing would need to know when to speed up and slow down. So this is something for the even more advanced chapters coming up.